Okay, so I've just come off the Tommy Expressway and you've got to use uh, these paper tickets in order to pay tolls if you don't have the um, electronic one. Apparently they do take credit card. I was a bit worried initially because Japan is quite a cash-based country, but um, I guess we'll find out. I wish I had some kind of paper clip here. Shit. Konnichiwa. Sorry? Okay, that went okay. Language barrier, all I know is uh, Konnichiwa, arigato gozaimashita, which is thank you. I have no clue how much it costs though. Let's just have a quick look now. 1,150 yen. I think about six pounds. So kind of like paying the congestion, jo congestion charge, I guess. So next I have to go to Odawara which is uh, a bit further down, close to the coast, straight up ahead. Not sure what I'm going on. Uh, to, uh, it looks like a smaller road. So. Oh, just look, just look at that spectacular scenery. I mean, that is just unbelievable. That's the area I'm going up to uh, after I've had a spot of lunch. I haven't actually looked for a ramen place yet. Yes, I don't know if you guys uh, noticed as I pulled up to the toll booth how he uh, the gentleman in the toll booth how he bowed as I came up to him and that's it's really interesting how how uh, Japanese customs and uh, traditions are so much more formal and polite than ours in the West you know we've we've really done away with all of those now and uh, just stick to the casual high and by whereas everything has a um, there's definitely a sense of occasion to doing things in Japan um, and that even extends all the way down to uh, you know, when the Shinkansen bullet trains, as they leave the, uh, or as they arrive and leave at the station, there you have these conductors and they guide the trains in with their white gloves. You know, it's a great sense of pride, the uh, Shinkansen system, to the Japanese, because in terms of a technological feat, it's quite spectacular. I mean, I had the uh, seven-day Japan rail pass costs around I think 160 pounds at the moment and you can just literally just shoot around the country hop on a train it's it's like a, it's like the ultimate travel card and I think it's really definitely a must if you ever do come to Japan that just get yourself one of those Japan rail passes and, and just go around the country because you can turn up at the station at the drop of a sake glass and get on a train and go somewhere else within a day and in some, somewhere within the country. Yeah, so I don't know if you can see up ahead, the destination up there is uh, Odawara. Uh, that's kind of just before the hills in Hakone, which are to the southwest of Tokyo. So I'm about, I don't know actually, honestly I have no, no clue where I, how far away I am. I know I'm approaching the coast and once I'm on the coast then uh, I'm not too far, but I am getting a little bit hungry. But the one thing I've just discovered in this short bout of touring that I've got, that I've done from uh, Tokyo is that when you're sort of wearing backpack and you've got a top box so obviously I haven't probably chosen the right boxes but uh, there is definitely an art of what to do with the uh, meat and tea veg in terms of trying to keep it comfortable while you're on the highway so I found myself sort of um, doing old-fashioned uh, squats on the foot pegs on the bike while I'm going down the highway which I'm sure looks very odd to everybody else but hey i'm a gaijin what does it matter ah oh, just look at that i mean just, just so fucking beautiful if you've never been to japan or are interested in going to japan and you ride a motorbike is that what the steps that you kind of need to take in order to ride as a as a foreigner here or as japanese say gaijin which means foreigner I mean, uh, some people say it's a bit offensive, but, uh, you know, what the hell, I think it's quite a cool word. If you're from the UK, at least, you need to have an international driver's license. It's like a little paper booklet, which is translated into, I don't know, probably about five or six languages, so you can use it around the world. And it's valid for about a year or so. It costs, I think, £5.50 at the post office, and you just have to fill out a form, and you can get it there right on the spot. But uh, in Japan, you need this... Um, international driver's license which is issued by the AA in order to drive here it, and it really just has the translation of it into Japanese and of course take your photo card and paper counterpart as well 
Christ, I mean, I'm just looking in the mirror, I don't know if you can see that, but there's like mountains with every single different colour of leaf possible there. Okay, so we're in a place called uh, Odawara, which I was just talking about earlier, which is about, um, well, it's on the coast and uh, probably, maybe, I don't know, 50 kilometres from Tokyo. There's an entrance to a turnpike called the Toyo Tires um, Turnpike, and Japan has a lot of these uh, sort of uh, short ish toll roads, I mean short sort of 10-20 kilometer toll roads which are basically scenic drives and you can find them all around Japan and uh, the area I'm going to which is near Mount Fuji is uh, onsen resort, onsen to like sort of hot springs, baths, volcanic water that comes from the ground and it supposedly has all kind of special uh, healing, well not healing powers but you know it's good relaxing stuff just like a a sauna is for us Finns. But anyway, yeah, so I'm going to be taking about uh, three of these um, Skyline Roads. One is called, the to yeah, as I just said, the Toyo Towers, which is the first one. And after that, hopefully the Ashinoko Skyline, I think it's called, which is goes by Lake Ashinoko, Ashinko, I think it's called. And then the Hakone Skyline after that. And then the Pièce de Résistance in terms of the... Oh, look, there we go. There goes the Shinkanchen. I think that's the latest one, the N700 took that one yesterday from Osaka they just go blindingly fast so fast that when you try and take a picture on your camera that the refresh rate on the CCD isn't fast enough to actually get all of what you're trying to take a picture of in in the same place so you end up with this sort of slightly diagonal picture of the stuff in the uh, foreground and the stuff in the background is in it's in pretty good focus right shitter I don't know straight ahead I think I continue. Yeah so the uh, latest uh, Shinkansen bullet trains they go at I think around 270 to 300 kilometers an hour getting off from about 170 to 200 miles an hour so pretty quick stuff they have completely separate terminals at each station. Yeah so that's the area I'm going towards Hakone on uh, Japan's route 1. The blue routes like you see over there which have that shield are normal roads so that they're don't have any tolls on them unlike the expressways. The expressways are pretty expensive, I think they run at about 20 yen per kilometer, so it does add up when you start going long distances. I, mean, I was thinking about taking the highways all the way down, but like I said, no, it's, I haven't seen, I've hardly seen any of uh, any of this part of Japan. It's hardly rural, it's the problem is, is that rural in Japan is for us is like urban, and even if, if you see it on the bullet train, you're just always you're just going way too fast to even notice it. Ah, oh, but I gotta say, it's been about, what, two weeks since I last rode my bike, and just to get back on the bike now, oh, it's like, it's freaking amazing. It's like, feel completely relaxed, and just feel so fucking good. Okay, guys, keep your eyes peeled, because I am looking for Toyo Tires Turnpike. And what we should see is, is a little sign on the side of the road near a bridge when I checked on Google Maps. Oh, maybe I should stop and get some food. Maybe some petrol too. Jesus Christ. Maybe I shouldn't have taken this road. Oh, people getting a bit re restless there. Looks like everyone in the greater Tokyo area has the same idea as I've got to go and enjoy this very fine day. Yeah, and the filtering rules in uh, Japan, I would say at best it's a grey area. But what I do know is, is that the uh, orange line right next to me is basically like lava. Do not touch that. If you do touch that, go straight to jail. Do not pass go. But uh, I don't know what it allows in terms of sort of shuttling up the uh, side of it while staying in there. All the green signs basically mean that uh, it's a expressway which has tolls and blue signs are normal roads without tolls. So if in doubt and you don't want to go on the toll road, avoid green. Well, I have to say it is a little warm out today. It was snowing in Tokyo a week ago. Now it's about 20 degrees and about the surface of the sun underneath my leathers. And you do wonder sometimes, I mean, us motorcyclists must be idiots in the head. I mean, we're buying somebody else's skin, putting it on top of us, and then going out in the sunshine and making the most disgusting sweat soup. All part of the experience, I guess. Mm -hmm. 